One of these things is not like the other. Welcome to Man Cave Media. Today I'm doing a comparison video. In this box I have, of course, the CPFM Flea Market Air 2. This is a legit pair of Flea Market Air 2s that went through the eBay verification process. And, uh, you know, we're determined to be a legitimate retail pair of Air Flea 2s. In this, uh, uh, in this much smaller box here, we have a pair that did not go through any verification processes <laughs> and uh, came from the wide open market of Instagram. So longtime subscribers of my channel, I'm going to get the legitimate box out of the way here. You guys can see the size difference, right? There's no reason for this big guy to be up here anymore. I'll get close up to the boxes side by side so you guys can see the difference in size. So uh, longtime subscribers of my channel, you guys are aware that every once in a while I dabble in the uh, replica market uh, when it comes to sneakers. Um, I really don't like to do resale. I really hate scalping. And now that, you know, the reps have gotten really good. Uh, rather than pay some outrageous price for a sneaker if I really, really want it, um, I look to the uh, illegitimate markets <laughs> uh, on occasion. I used to review them here on YouTube, but I got dinged for it, so I stopped. Uh, but that being said, I wanted to do a comparison on these. It wasn't very often that I had the retail pair and um, a replica pair in my possession at the same time, because that's not what I do. Um, usually when I would get a rep, it's because I really wanted a sneaker that I could not get. And so I wouldn't have the retail version. And so there was no like side by side comparison for me. I was, I was always comparing them to photos, but in this case, I really wanted these sneakers and it was starting to look grim, <laughs> uh, that I wasn't going to be able to find a pair that I was willing to pay for, uh, until I came across this eBay seller. But that being said, so I, I did go through the motions of getting a illegitimate pair and it took like five ever for them to get here which happens sometimes and in that time frame i i wound up finding this person on ebay so i ended up with two i have the legitimate retail pair and i have the uh <sighs> the weird step sibling <laughs> we'll go from that so let's start off with, uh, let's do a little bit of unboxing here of the uh, illegitimate pair, shall we? Slide on over here to my overhead camera. So the obvious thing straight away is this box is nothing like the other. I mean, I shouldn't say it like that. Design-wise, it is the same, but size-wise, it is much, much smaller. The retail box is way more exaggerated than this guy. So straight away, it's starting to look good, right? Like we got the bag, but once you unfold it, you notice it's very small. It is very nice. It's embroidered like the real thing. And it is, you know, they did a good job with it. It's just really small compared to the retail one. Just like the box. Uh, I'll get close-ups of this side by side with the retail. There is sneaker number one. The paper, spot on. They did a good job with the paper. Sneaker number two. Observant viewers, you're going to notice something wrong with this straight away. There are the included pins or snaps or, you know, charms, sneaker charms, whatever they want to call them. And then there's the hang tag. Nothing else in the box except for some silica gel. So we can go ahead and get this out of the way here. All right, here they are in all of their glory. <laughs> the uh, Air CPFM, sorry, the CPFM Nike Air Flea 2 
Weird stepchild. <laughs> All right, so we'll give it kind of a proper review. Straight away, the removable swoosh is not as soft as the actual one. And it's way more like rigid and not as like malleable. Like the other one, you can kind of place how you want it and snap it in place. Like this one is very like, it wants to be where it is. <laughs> And it's, uh, it's pretty beat up, too, actually, and falling apart a little bit. It's a, this is what I like to call a five-footer rep. From five feet away, it looks pretty good. When you get up close, you start seeing problems. That swoosh is one of the problems. So let's get this off really quick. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the actual swoosh. So straight away, observing viewers, you've probably already noticed the exaggerated midsole on this replica is glossy, like super glossy, shiny. And that is, that's not correct. Um, the retail version of it is more of a matte rubbery finish where this looks like a, you know, a tire that's got a lot of tire wet on it. <laughs> and that's not how it should look. The straps, the straps on these are noticeably thinner than the retail version, and the Velcro is also noticeably of lesser quality. I don't know how else to put that. And, like, again, from a distance, they look fine. The strap that the Velcro goes through, I'll do side-by-sides of this stuff in a moment. Uh, the strap... The, the, I'm sorry, the, the holder that the straps go through, they're thinner. Overall, it's just like they, you know, they saved money on some of these materials by going with the smaller versions of them. The actual neoprene upper is pretty correct. It feels the same as the retail pair. Uh, the snaps on it feel the same. And like color-wise... Again, I'll do some more side-by-sides. But color-wise, I mean, it's pretty spot-on for the upper, for the neoprene version of the upper. The, this, like, black surround, too, that goes around, I noticed that the, the uh, illegitimate pair is a little bit softer, actually, than the retail pair. It almost feels like a really short suede on the, on the illegitimate stepchild pair. <laughs> The, uh, the stabilizers, they did a really good job matching the color on the stabilizers, as well as that foot outline on the bottom. I have not tested this yet to see if it actually glows, but I'm going to guess that it does. But again, you can see this outsole is really, like, shiny. Really shiny. As compared to the retail, it should not be that shiny. So the snaps or, you know, sneaker charms that they give you, they look to be correct. I'm going to open them right now and compare them um, because, I mean, straight away, one of the Nike symbols is the wrong color. So I'm going to open them up and, like, compare them, like, material-wise to see how they are there. Oh, okay, so they did a they did a pretty good job of reconstructing these. They feel the same. They have the same weight, similar like characteristics. This is the real one. This is the fake one. I'll, I'll use my overhead camera and get better shots of that. But they did a they did a pretty good job of recreating this. But the uh, the Nike snaps are the wrong color. That's not the color that you get with the retail pair. So if anything, I just have extra charms now, or snaps, or whatever people want to call these. The hang tag also is uh, fairly correct. There's a little bit of issue with the font, but it's negligible. Like, the average person is not going to notice that. So I'm going to go back over to my overhead camera. We're going to do some closer side-by-sides of stuff, starting with that swoosh.
So in my left hand, I have the factory or the, the actual retail swoosh. And it's going to be hard to tell on camera, but it is much softer than the stepchild swoosh. <laughs> and it's also not the right color. You hold them. My camera is going to struggle to pick that up, but it's this is more of a a yellowish color where this is more like a milky off white. And this is this is like yellowed. As far as the snaps go, you can see they are different size and different color. Retail, not retail. And just the fit and finish, like you see on the end of the swoosh here, it didn't quite line up. They didn't do a good job of getting those like sandwiched together, I guess, before they sewed it. And that's very evident. You can see like on the inside of the swoosh, it's almost separating a little bit. Whereas here you get on the retail one, you get a nice clean line and it just overall looks a lot better. The snaps, take one of the Nike ones off here cause that's, I'm less likely to get those mixed up cause they're, they're, not, they're not the right color. Uh, the snaps themselves, material wise and, and like quality wise, they are the same. They feel the same. They're the same weight. And, you know, I think they did a good job getting those recreated. The actual snap, again, just like the Nike swoosh, it's larger and a different color. I think they had problems maybe sourcing the same part. And so that's a good tell if you're trying to figure out if the, if a pair of these shoes is legit or not, that's a good tell. The snap is the wrong size. So, moving on to these straps. Let me get the rep here. Hang on, let me move some stuff out of the way. It's getting crowded. Ah, there goes the snap. That's what I was afraid of. Retail swoosh. Okay. Sorry about that. So, we have, you know what, let's get the same color. Let's get the same color going. Apologies. So left side, retail, right side, weird stepbrother. You can tell on the strap itself, the, um, Retail one is a little bit shinier, tad bit shinier. This this one is the the replica is more of a matte finish, and it's going to be hard for my camera to pick that up. But you can see the 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 stitch line on the retail pair is way less pronounced than on the replica, and it's thinner. The material overall is is a little bit thinner. The Velcro too, like. On the retail pair, you can just tell it's a better uh, Velcro that they used uh, versus the replica. And here on this side, you can see the difference in the snaps. So as I mentioned before, I think they just had trouble sourcing those snaps. And then where the straps attach to the shoe, you can see on the retail pair, this end of the Velcro of the hook and loop is actually glossier and shinier than it is on the rep. And it's attached to the shoe a lot cleaner. So like on the replica pair, the edges of the Velcro is like already starting to work its way up and is like deformed a bit. Whereas on the retail pair, it's much flatter to the surface of the shoe and it's not sticking up. They did a good job of placement of that swoosh. It's very like, identical to the placement of the swoosh and the cut of this black trim that goes around. They did a really good job with that. That's going to be a hard tell if you're trying to figure out what's legit, what's not. Um, a lot of legit check people like to talk smack about the glue. I think the rep people do just fine with the glue. I've seen retail pairs with glue like that, um, you know, coming out of the side. I, I feel that's negligible. Um, that's not a good tell, but for this particular pair, an excellent tell is this midsole. It's not as exaggerated on my camera, but to the naked eye, 
this is way more matte. The the retail pair is way more matte. It's more like a just a like a tire with nothing on it. Whereas the replica is a tire with tire wet. <laughs> Lots of rubber sheen on here. And later on I'm going to do an experiment where I'm going to try to take this sheen off because what I would like to do is keep the retail pair as new as possible for as long as possible um and wear these guys because these didn't cost me anything these obviously did <laughs> uh, another thing that's different is going to the toe box right here you can see the retail pair has a little break where it's you know the midsole stops here and then continues and you can see an obvious break in the midsole on the replica pair it's more flush and less noticeable so less exaggerated i should say on the bottom i apologize the retail pair is a little dirty i've worn them already um couldn't help myself but so they are a little dirty so that's going to make this a little bit harder but you can tell on the the replica pair the red stabilizer is a little bit off just a just a hair lighter than the retail pair again I know I wore the retail pair, but you can still tell like the retail pair is a little more dull than the replica. But as far as the foot outline goes, before I wore the legit pair, it was the same color. So that's not going to be a good tell if you're trying to figure out if these are retail or not. Uh, on the tongue, again, they did a really good job uh, replicating the retail pair, the font is a little wrong. You can see the retail pair, the flea two is, is larger than it is on the replica, but the, the just do it and the yin and the yang and the Nike, I mean, those are pretty good. So if you're trying to figure out if it's a replica or not, look for that font, the flea two font, it's different on the replica. It's a uh, much larger. Or uh, much smaller, I'm sorry, on the replica. Same with that air on the t on the back of the shoe. Same same problem. The font is just a little bit off. And let's see, on the pull tabs, they actually did a pretty good job there. It's hard to see this guy. Hang on. Oh wow. Okay, on the replica though. The air pull tag, see if I can, it's hard to tell on my camera. The air pull tag is physically smaller. Oh, so is the flea too. Okay, yeah, so both tags are physically smaller on the rep than they are on the retail pair. That's a good tell right there. That's gonna be a slam dunk for you. If you're trying to figure out if it's real or not, that is gonna be a slam dunk for you. Look for those tags. These pull tabs are too small. All right, let me get the uh, the retail bag out right quick so you guys can kind of see that difference. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Rep. <laughs> the retail one, hold on, the rep's going to have to go off the frame a little bit. Okay, replica, retail. <laughs> it's huge. Compared to the rep, it is, it's huge. And it is a different shade of yellow now that I have it. Side by side here, it's almost an orangey yellow. But I can't get them both in frame. I apologize for that. But the Nike patch also and the Yin Yin Yang patch are different materials. The rep is more shiny. Um, a more shiny material. The, the retail is matte and softer. Same with the Yin and the Yang. The Yin Yang on the rep is like shiny and glossy, the retail, it's a much more matte and uh, feels a lot better. As far as the writing goes, these are the same. They look the same, they feel the same. They messed up right here. You can see this E in the Nike, they messed up there. So yours might not have that, so that might not be a good tell, but mine, they messed up. The material itself is pretty similar. Like they're both pretty nappy and pretty soft but the retail pair is darker 
than the replica. The replica is a much lighter yellow. The retail is a lot darker. And the other thing I noticed, sorry, I almost forgot, on the strings, the retail strings are green. The replica strings are not. So besides the size overall, it's pretty easy to tell. Like, of course, there, I put the rep on top. So I'll, I'll use my I'll use my camera afterwards and get close ups of these, so you can see better. But there's your difference. Like it's significantly smaller, so that's going to be an easy tell. But besides that, the patches aren't correct on the replica. So that should be an easy tell for you if you are trying to legit check these. The retail one is much nicer. So uh, <laughs> I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna give these like like a proper uh, review. I'm gonna give them the proper review treatment that I do with other shoes on my channel. Uh, let's get some close-ups and some on feet of these sort of beauties. All right, another thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention in the actual review, um, now that I've had these on feet, the largest size that I was able to get in the rep was 11. And 
again with the with the thing with the uh, sizing and people saying that they were oversized i figured what the hell let's try it i actually still fit these they are noticeably tighter than my retail 11 and a halfs but i have plenty of room for my toes my toesies fit just fine in these so there's a full size down i know these are replicas or not retail but I think the people that did the reps had the same issue that Nike had with the inconsistencies in the sizing because um, these fit one full size down. But anyways, um, I hope this was helpful for you. If you are trying to legit check a pair of CPFM Air Flea 2s, uh, if yours are as bad as mine, <laughs> it should be easy for you to tell. You should be able to tell straight away because the box is way too small. Um, if the person you're trying to buy them from happens to not have a box, I don't have the box, bro. Then there are way easier ways to tell once you get them out of the box and it can protect you. If you were trying to, you know, actually buy a retail pair, it can protect you from being ripped off. Um, at least this particular pair. That's not to say that there aren't better ones out there. There are a lot of, uh, a lot of rep sellers out there. So just, uh, if you're trying to buy the real thing, just be careful. There are ways to tell. Look at it really good. And hopefully you don't get scammed, man. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that algorithm. If you would like to see my review of the retail pair, uh, I'll put a link for that down in the description so you can go back and watch my uh, review of those. Um, I hope you have a great afternoon. And like always, thank you for watching.